The first thing to understand is that the TK Infinity Mass Panel is an alternative method for making luminosity masks. The Spectrum and Basic tabs in the TK Actions V4 panel still provide excellent ways to make all kinds of luminosity masks and selections by clicking a single button. I still often find that this is the preferable way for me to quickly make a luminosity selection or mask. The TK Infinity Mask panel allows you to make an infinite number of luminosity masks by changing the tone, range, focus, and strength values and watching the mask change in real time. And in this way, you can customize a mask and more precisely target the tones that you want to adjust. There are three basic steps to using the Infinity Mask panel and you generally work from the top to the bottom. The first step is to activate the panel by clicking one of the buttons in the top two rows. These buttons generate a new layer that the panel needs in place in order to work. The initial mask is based on the button that you click. The sliders and output buttons don't do anything until one of the top buttons has been clicked and the session has been initiated. The second step is to adjust the mask. The top two rows of buttons and the four sliders can be used to adjust the mask. Each adjustment will change the mask and the mask updates automatically on screen as adjustments are made. Once you've finished adjusting the mask, output the mask using one of the bottom buttons. Only one output option can be chosen and once you've output the mask, the layer used to generate the infinity mask is deleted and a new infinity mask session needs to be started if you want to create another infinity mask. If you decide you do not want to use a mask, you can also click the cancel button to end the infinity mask session and delete the extra layer. In this video, let's take a look at using the TK Infinity Mask Panel to make some adjustments with luminosity masks. I'm going to start with something very simple and just create a Lights 1 mask. So if I was using the V4 panel, I would just click this Lights 1 to create that Lights 1 selection. But in the Infinity Mask Panel, I'll start with this Lights 1 and it automatically selects that from the luminosity channel. Now, if I wanted to try a different channel, let's say the red channel, or the green channel, or the blue channel, I can quickly toggle through those. But for this, I think I want to stay with the luminosity channel. And I want to use this mask to make a basic adjustment that just darkens my lightest tones. So to do this, I will just create a levels adjustment with that Lights 1 mask with no alterations made to the sliders. So there's my levels adjustment layer with that mask attached. And now I can make adjustments to that adjustment layer. I'm going to start by using the V4 panel to set the multiply blending mode to darken through that mask. And then I can further adjust with the levels sliders to bring in the, uh, the tones in the sky there. So that's a pretty typical Lights 1 mask darkening adjustment made with a Levels adjustment layer. Next I'm going to make a mid-tone adjustment to bring back some contrast in the mid-tones that was lost. I'm going to use the Pick button to go into the image and pick a tone. Maybe somewhere here in the mountains or the grass or maybe the mid-tones of the water. In fact, let's try the mid-tones of the water here. And we see those are actually towards the darker end. But that's OK. I'll click OK. And that gives me a tonal range of 63. And I can see, yeah, that looks pretty good because I want to increase the contrast in the mountain and the grass. And I want to leave the trees, which are already dark, and the sky out of it. And in fact, I may want to go to an even darker tone. So I'm going to bring this down slightly and let that update and see how that looks. So somewhere in there is the tonal range I'm going for. Actually, maybe closer that way. But I may also want to now narrow the range of how far those tones are reaching. I really want to focus them, like I said, on the grass and on the mountain. So maybe slightly less there. And keep bringing that range down. And then for focus, 
I may want to try a little more focus or maybe a little less focus just to see what looks good. I think we'll go with that. And the strength, I'm going to leave it where it is. And for this, I'm going to now output that as a curves adjustment layer with that mask attached. And for this, I'm going to just increase contrast through that mask by creating an S curve. And that is going to, yeah, bring up that contrast in the mountains and the water and the foreground grass and rocks, but it's not affecting my sky and it's having very little effect on the trees and darker rocks, which already had plenty of contrast. So I think that looks pretty good. Now, if I wanted to further make adjustments with either of those, I can, of course, use the same techniques that I use anytime I'm using luminosity mask. So, for example, if I wanted to do a mask the mask, perhaps with this levels one adjustment, I could come down here to that adjustment layer. And then using the V4 panel, I could put that adjustment layer in a group and add a white mask to the group and then with a black brush set to oh, 50 percent opacity well, actually let's go to 30 percent if I wanted to paint out some of that adjustment by masking the mask and keeping the contrast a little bit better back in the distance I could do that same thing so that's the masking the mask technique that I show in a few of my different videos go back up to that top layer and the final thing I want to do now is bring in the tones or darken the tones in the sky even more so I'm gonna again start with a luminosity channel it's a lights one luminosity and let's just see the red the green and the blue I'm looking for the most separation between the sky and the land I think maybe it's that blue channel so with that, I can now start working with, see, I don't want to bring my tone down because I want the brightest tonal values to be the tones that are selected, but I can bring the range down and try to get it so that it is mostly just that sky that's being selected. And in fact, you know, I'm going to cancel this because I've darkened that sky with my other adjustments and I think I could get better separation if I was working on a mask that didn't include those darkening adjustments. So I want to cancel. I'm going to just turn off these two adjustments so we go back to how the image started. And now let's try that again. So I knew that was the blue luminosity channel. And now when I bring my range down, yeah, there we go. Now I'm getting better separation between the land and the sky. And I may want to increase the focus a little bit. Uh, actually, I want to keep a little bit of that water in there too, so maybe that looks good. Uh, the cool thing I can do now, and this is, I think this is really awesome, is that I can actually come in with the paintbrush set to black. I'm going to bring the opacity up to 100%, and I'm going to set the blending mode of the paintbrush to overlay, like I've shown in lots of my other videos. And now I'm going to use that to just come in and paint along this edge here, because I don't want any of that snow to be affected by this next uh, adjustment I'm going to do, which is going to be to darken. And I don't want to darken that snow at all. I just want to darken the sky. And a little bit of that water could be darkened. That would be fine. And I also want to make sure that my sky can be darkened everywhere. So I'm going to go to a white brush and then I can use that to make sure that this adjustment is going to go everywhere in the sky. Okay, so now that I've made those adjustments both by working the sliders and then by painting right on that mask, now when I output it, that's the mask that's going to be output, that customized mask. So now I can say, let's just make this a levels adjustment layer with that mask attached and there it is. Now I can turn on these other two adjustments that I already did and then my final adjustment is going to be to change this levels adjustment layer to the multiply blending mode to darken even further and if I felt like I needed to really dial in the tones in that sky I can somewhere in there and there we go. So like I said those are all very familiar luminosity mass type adjustments that we're making, but instead of using the pre-made mass that the V4 panel can make, 
which is great to use in a lot of cases, the new Infinity Mask panel now allows us to make really customized masks and quickly apply them to those adjustments.